In this video tutorial we can explain the 3D sketch in SolidWorks software. 3D sketch is used for drawing a 3D paths and examples that's need to a three-dimensional entities. You don't have to select a planar face to enter the 3D sketch environment. But that's enough to click on the 3D sketch command only. Show the standards planes by clicking on the eye icon. In orientation click on the isometric view. OK. It's ready to use. All the drawing commands on the 3D sketch environment is exactly similar to the sketch environment. The difference is that drawn in the three dimension. OK that's very good. To use the 2D sketches commands in the 3D environment. You have to make change your work planes while working. Do this with press the tab on the keyboard. This is a very important note in the 3D sketch environment. For start the job in 3D sketch environment. Draw a line on the graphic area. In the start point of line appear a coordinate system. By default. Line drawn on front plane. You can see the help lines in the yellow color. By press the tab button by keyboard works planes are changed. Do it more and more. OK. Finish it in front plane. Click on the line that appear their relations. Along X. Along Y. And along Z. See the axes of your work on the bottom and left side of your graphic area. Simply you can choose your best coys. We choose the along Y option. Select the start point O line and the origin. And make coincident it's together. OK. That's very good. Then click on the smart dimensions command. And determine the length of line to 100 mm. Draw a center line in the top plane. And click on the start point. Then click on the end point of previous line. Make coincident relation. Then click on the along X for center line. Then draw a line similar to previous one. And with smart dimension command. Change the angle between them to 45 degree. OK that's very good. Again click on the smart dimension command and determine the length of last line to the 100 mm. For complete and fully define this line. Click on the smart dimension again. And determine the angle of this line and previous one to 90 degree. Delete this dimension. Choose the two lines and make perpendicular relation between them. OK. That's good. OK. Draw a point in the graphic area. Click on the point. Press control button then click on the top plane. Choose the on plane relation. Point is placed on top plane. Then click on the Smart Dimension command. Choose the point and the front plane. Change the dimension to 100 mm. Then click on the point and the right plane. And run the Smart Dimension command again. Change this distance to 100 mm again. OK. The point is fixed and black color. Very good. Draw a line in graphic area. Select the start point of this and the end point of last line. And make merge relation between them. Also coincident the other points again. 
Okay, that's very good. Okay. Click on the fillet command. Change the radius value to 30. And fillet the edges. Now this 3D path is complete. And ready to use by the 3D model commands that will say in future. This is a 3D sketch. Rotate the graphic area and see this. Ok very good. Now I want to explain the two remaining commands. Offset on surface. And the next is. Spline on surface. Ok. We create a 3D model surface previously. Look. This surface is very complicated. First click on the offset on surface command. Then click on the four boundary curves on the surface. Change the value of offset as is possible. OK. Drawn curves are based on the previous surface that modeled previously. This is the very important and useful command. Hide the surface to look the curves better. OK. That's very good command. The next is spline on surface. Again show the previous surface to run this command. Run this command and draw a spline on the surface. Rotate the environment and look to the spline. As you see. The shape of the spline exactly similar to surface. Try to make another spline and check it out again. That's a very important and useful command. Hide again the surface to look better the splines. Try more and more.